at present, as negative factors in the global economy are persisting, the government and the National Bank are designing a structural reform package to ensure a sustainable long-term growth of the economy and the employment. In pursuance of the mandate given by the head of the state, this year the National Bank proceeded with the implementation of a set of measures for transition to the inflation targeting in the midterm. On July 15, 2015, the National Bank makes the decision to expand the foreign exchange band with a view to ensuring a more flexible and smooth development of the 10K exchange rate. However, the situation in the global economy continues to deteriorate world prices for the main export commodities of our country, oil and metals, are declining, thus negatively affecting the GDP growth rates and increasing the vulnerability of the domestic economy to external shocks. Falling export proceeds have had a negative impact on the state budget revenues and the country's balance of payments. In this environment, a new economic policy will be aimed in the first instance to safeguard the social and economic stability with a view to preventing the decline in output, reduction in the investment and lending activity, the increase in unemployment and the decline of living standards. The need to support a set of structural reforms initiated by the government in all sectors of the economy creates objective prerequisites for an accelerated transition to inflation targeting. A new economic policy in this environment of fundamental negative developments in the global economy requires a new monetary policy in order to ensure the balance between economic growth and price stability. Therefore, the National Bank and the government of the Republic of Kazakhstan made the decision to start implementing a new monetary policy based on the inflation targeting regime to, to abandon the foreign exchange ban and to move to the free floating exchange rate effective August 20, 2015. The exchange rate of the Tinge will be developing on the basis of the market demand and supply based on fundamental internal and external macroeconomic factors. This means that the exchange rate may be moving both downward and upward, such movements being determined by the situation in the global economy and in the domestic foreign exchange market. The National Bank will not interfere in the development of the market level of the Tinge exchange rate, but will reserve the possibility to participate in the domestic foreign exchange market by conducting intervention should the threat of destabilization of the country's financial system appear. The exchange rate development on the basis of the market demand and supply without any interference by the regulator will create the necessary prerequisites for the recovery of the economic growth, for an increase in the investment and lending activity, for new jobs and reduction of inflation to 3-4% in the midterm. The implementation of a new monetary policy, which is based on the inflation targeting regime, will help manage the strategic challenges of our economic policy, achieving a long-term sustainable economic development of the country, low inflation rate, increasing the rate of employment, and the improving living standards of the people in the country. The government and the National Bank will take measure to support the socially vulnerable groups of the population and to prevent unjustified price growth, especially for socially important products and services.